Hey Mustangs, in this video we're going to take a look at the dogfish shark um, for the dissection that we did in class. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the external anatomy first. So if we take a look at this tiny little shark here, this specimen, um, let's go ahead and start with the fins. So you have the pectoral fins out here towards the side. Um, the dogfish ha shark has two dorsal fins. Um, so you have an uh, anterior or first dorsal fin here, and you have an um, a posterior or second dorsal fin here. Both have spines, so you ha see the fin spine there and also on the back on this one. Um, as we go to the back of the shark, the tail end is the caudal fin, so we see the caudal fin here. Turn it over to the uh, ventral side and we're going to see right here this pair of fins, this is the pelvic fins right here. This guy does not have um, the anal fins, so we see the uh, pelvic fins right here. Um, now, since we're looking at the pelvic fins, uh, we could take the chance right now to identify whether this is male or female. So when you look at the pelvic fins here, um, you should see that on this one, uh, it's just a regular fin, but on males, they have claspers. And claspers are involved in reproduction, uh, in um, delivering the sperm. So here, this is a female, and let's go ahead and compare this to a male. Okay, so if we look at this male here, and this is a young male, you can see that the claspers are developing right there. Now in much larger sharks, uh, you're going to see uh, the claspers much larger than we actually see here. But you can see the difference between this one, which does not have that structure here, um, so no structure there, and this one does have, have the claspers. All right. So um, let's go ahead and look at the other features that we'll need to know. So the front part of the shark is not, basically the, uh, the nose end of the shark is known as the rostrum, uh, very similar to what we saw in the crayfish. Um, so the rostrum here. If we turn it over, we could see the nostrils. Um, there's two holes. The smaller hole is for the intake, while the larger hole is for the release of water. Um, and in there is a membrane um, for sensing chemicals in the water. So that is their nostrils. And you have two holes here and two holes on this side as well. And the eyes, of course, on both sides of the head. The spiracles, um, spiracles are involved in water intake as well. So the shark can actually use these spiracles to intake water when their mouth is closed and that water passes over the gills so that way they can um, take the water out of, I'm sorry, the oxygen out of the water. So spiracles are involved with getting that oxygen into the body, pulling the water in, shark's mouth doesn't have to be open for that to happen, goes through, passes over the lungs, I'm sorry, the gills, and the gills um, uptake the oxygen. So that takes us to the gills here. So we have five slits on the side here, and these are the gills, uh, which are involved in removing oxygen from water. And we have five gill slits on this side as well. And these guys have um, open gill slits. As we move um, along the shark here, um, we get to uh, in between the pelvic fins is the cloaca, um, and this is the exit for the digestive system, um, and it's also the uh, basically reproductive organ as well, um, or the, the, the um, tract into the reproductive organs. So that, that basically has two jobs that are involved with the cloaca there. All right, so that is the external anatomy of the shark. Um, let's go ahead, oh, forgot one. Um, the last thing is going to be the lateral line. So the lateral line, you see this faint line that goes along right here. So I'll bring it a little closer. So the faint line that goes along there, that is the lateral line, and that is used in detecting movements in the water. So water currents and movements in the water to allow the shark to know what's going on within the water. All right. So let's go right. ahead and take For a look. For the now internal anatomy the internal of the shark, anatomy. so we open this girl up here. And we know this is a girl because, again, if we look at the pelvic fins, um, we see that there's no claspers, so this is a female. So when we open her up here, um, we'll go ahead and start at the top. So towards the top here, um, leading into the stomach would be the esophagus. Um, this large, pale colored organ here is the stomach, so you see the stomach there. 
this green thing sticking off here um, is actually the gallbladder, so an organ involved with digestion. So we have the gallbladder there. It's very distinct because you can actually see the color. It is green there. So stomach. Um, the biggest th structures that you see when you open up the shark is actually the uh, liver. And the liver has two main lobes here. So you can see one lobe here. It has a right and left lobe. So there's one lobe there and another lobe here that runs along this side. So that is actually the liver. Both of those um, come together to form the liver. As we move down the, from the stomach, so if we follow the stomach down, it leads us to the duodenum, um, which is a part of the intestines. And right here, we actually see this part here, this structure here. Um, this is the um, spiral intestine, and it has a spiral valve inside. So if we were to actually cut it open, we see that it's much different than our in, uh, intestine is towards the end, because our small intestine has the villi. These guys don't have those. Uh, they have a spiral valve instead, and that helps increase surface area for absorption of food. Um, here uh, we have the um, pancreas. So pancreas is located right here. So right above, right here where the stomach comes down, the duodenum is, here is the pancreas. And as you follow it down through the spiral valve towards the end here, uh, we will see the rectal, let me take that there, the rectal gland. And this is involved with balancing salt in the shark's body. And then these pink things here, uh, we're looking at the kidneys. So, right. kidneys, so uh, make sure you study um, and know your parts um, and be ready for your practical.